Awesome God, we worship and adore you for your gracious call upon our lives through your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. In your church, in the world, in the ministry of proclamation, pastoral care, and myriad means of outreach, that the world may know Jesus and be reconciled to you. On that note, we are going to sing a hymn of praise. I have a message from the Lord. I have a message from the Lord. Hallelujah. The message unto you I give. Tis recorded in his word. Hallelujah. It is only that you look and live. And then it says, I have a message full of love. Hallelujah. A message, oh my friend, for you. Tis a message from above. Hallelujah. Jesus said it. And I know it's true. Look and live. My brother live. Look to Jesus now and live. It is recorded in his word, hallelujah. It is only that you look and live. Let's lift our voices as we sing a hymn of praise. I have a message from the Lord. From the Lord, hallelujah. The message unto you I'll give. It is recorded in his word, hallelujah. It is only that you look and live. Look and live. Master, the beneficent and the merciful, God of our weary years and God of our lonely tears, we come before you tonight realizing that thou art God and beside thee there is no other. So God, we come tonight pleading for your presence. Come, God, asking you to endow the preacher with your power, with your passion, O oh God, and with your purpose. Come, God, asking you to anoint the choir, O oh God, allow them to sing with melodious voices from on high. God, we come asking for your presence in this place, O oh God, that you would fill us, O oh God, with your spirit. We come, God, asking you that you would anoint us, O oh God, with the Holy Ghost. We pray, God, that you will move in this place like you've never moved before, God. We pray, Lord, that you will lift in this place like you never lifted before. We pray, God, that you will heal in this place, oh God, like you never healed before. God, Lord, we pray that you will just show up tonight, God. We pray, God, that you will just show out tonight, God. We pray, God, that we will not leave here the same way that we came in. Now, God, we ask this. And all other blessings in the name of your son, Jesus, who is the risen Christ. And we're reminded that the tomb is empty and the cross is vacant. And all the people of God will show their agreement by saying, Amen, Amen, amen and Amen.
good. You've been so good. Oh, yes, you have. You've been so good. Oh, late in the midnight hour, you've been so good. came to tell you oh I came to tell you I came to tell you he said he said oh I came to tell you I came to tell you, I came to tell you, he said, he said, well, I came to tell you, oh, I came to tell you. I came to tell somebody, Jesus said, he said, he said, well, I stepped in the water, and the water was cold, he healed my body, and not my soul, you don't believe that I've been redeemed. Just follow me down to the Jordan stream. I said, Jordan River was chilly and cold. It chilled my body and not my soul. I stepped in the water. I stepped in the water. I stepped in the water. Way down in that water. Way down in that water. Way down in that water. Do you believe, ah, uh, do you believe, ah, uh, amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch, a wretch like me, I once was lost, anybody been lost, anybody been lost, anybody been lost, I've been lost, and now I'm found. Jesus save me, Jesus save me, there's love in the water, there's peace in the water, redemption in the water, there's power in the water, I love my Lord, I love my Lord, I love my Lord, I love my Lord, amazing grace, how sweet the sound. That saved a wretch, a wretch like me. I once was lost. Anybody been lost? Anybody been lost? Anybody been lost? Hey! Uh-huh, uh-huh. 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 One for the Father. One for the stun, 
one for the Holy Spirit. They all are one. I stepped in the water. 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 Oh, I came to tell you. Oh, I came to tell you. I came to tell you. He said. He said. And be baptized. One adjustment to the printed program. Sister Maria McCoy will read the scripture. There's power in the name. There's deliverance in the name. If you know that name, there's power in the name of Jesus. Chains have been broken by the name of Jesus. There's healing in the name of There's deliverance in the name of Jesus, they tell me that demons tremble at the name of Jesus, demons tremble at the name of Jesus, demons tremble at the name of Jesus. There's power in the name, in the name of Jesus. There's healing in the name. It's in the name of Jesus. Demons tremble at the name of Jesus there's healing in the name it's in the name of Jesus deliverance 
in the name, the precious name of Jesus. Jesus, 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 demons tremble at the name of Jesus. Oh, 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 Jesus. something about the name there's healing in the name you ever been sick and you didn't think you was going to get well and all you had to do was call on the name I don't know about you but your pocketbook ever looked funny and your change was a little strange but to call on the name of Jesus Jesus, 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 woke me up this morning, started me on my way. Jesus, 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 he's a way maker, he's a heart regulator, he'll make a way out of no way. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, oh, oh, oh. be the praise to God be the glory. I'm going to ask you you kindly uh, sow $10 in the, uh, for the upbuilding of God's kingdom for the gift of mission. Amen. Praise God. Amen.
the sons of Allen, will you kindly come forward and receive our benevolent offering? Amen. Okay, that's good. Amen. The Holy Spirit remind us that judge not and you shall not be judged. Condemn not and you shall not be condemned. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Give and it will be given to you. Good measure. Press down, shake it together, and run it over. Will be put into your bosom. But with the same measure that you use, it will be measured back to you. Buster, I uh, said, if he who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and he who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. So let each one give as his purpose in his heart, not grudgingly or of necessity. For God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able to make all grace abound towards you, that you always, having all sufficient in all things, may have an abundance for every good work. Zachary stood. And said, Lord, behold, the half of my goods I give unto the poor. And if I've taken anything from any man by false accusation, I'll restore all things. All things. Uh, let's church say amen. Let's church say amen again. Uh, truly, it's an honor, a privilege, and a favor to have this opportunity uh, to present uh, my presiding elder. Um, and I wanted to do it the right way. Uh, I wanted to write it down so I wouldn't mess up any words. Amen. And as I was, uh, I've learned that it's good to have faith, but it's even better to have grace. And so when I was uh, looking for words and a way to present uh, my presiding elder, uh, this is what God put to me. Uh, the Bible is full of, uh, with many names of great women. For instance, there's Mary, uh, the mother of Jesus, Eunice and Lois, who taught young Timothy the way of God's salvation. And there he is, Ladis, the merchant from Thyatira, who was converted under Paul's ministry and was greatly used of the Lord. But the book of Acts speaks of a woman called Dorcas. Ah, she was ah, a talented woman who ministered to the needs of the church and was raised from the dead by Peter. But that ain't the woman that came to mind when I went to look at finding a woman in the word of God that describes my presiding elder. So I had to look a little further in scripture. 
And the name that came was a woman named Phoebe. Phoebe. She is a special woman, the Bible declares, who demonstrated the attributes of holiness and servanthood and dedication. When I thought about my elder, a woman who demonstrates in her life holiness, servanthood, and dedication, hmm. I thank God for allowing me to see her in the scriptures. So as we stand to our feet, As we stand to our feet. Now, I've had the opportunity to be under a lot of elders. And I'm here to tell you the gospel. This is the one elder that I can truly say that is in the scripture. A woman who is truly holy, she don't just play holy. And she's shown her servitude, her servanthood. And she is truly dedicated, not only to the outstanding Orlando district, but she is dedicated to God, being about God's business. Being about God's service. Being all there is to do. Mm. I didn't come here to preach. But I came here to tell the truth. The one thing I've learned in my short life if you tell the truth, it will truly set you free. I don't care what anybody go back and tell any other elder. This is my elder. And I found out, and I'm going to hush up to my wife, fan it over there. I found out that she's a distant cousin of mine. So there's something in the DNA. When you're in touch, when you're in touch with God, let's get let's, let's receive our help. But I don't know if I've been preached about, but praise the Lord. He said he ain't come to preach tonight, but I believe he's about to get a little hoop up in there. If we had to let him go just a little bit longer. Come on, somebody. Come on, why don't you give Reverend Isaac Williams another hand? Did a marvelous job introducing this presiding elder. God bless you. Thank you so much. To the already established protocol, our Bishop Richardson and our Supervisor Richardson in absentia, and to all of our pastors and spouses and our ministers and spouses, and to each of you, our district stewards, and everyone that we called in the established protocol in the morning service. We want to thank God again for you being here tonight. But let me thank God for Bishop Larry Herbert for being here tonight. Bishop Herbert, would you raise your hand? Amen. And he's sitting with his sister, Sister Phyllis Grant, and I tried to move them up a little closer, but every now and then a preacher just like to sit back and enjoy, amen, and be in the house and not have to utilize their gifts because I find out I can put a preacher to work in a minute, amen. 
Amen. So we thank you for your presence tonight to come along with the St. Mark Choir and all of the guests. And I will allow our pastor to introduce uh, those persons who have come along with him uh, when he stands up. But why don't you uh, give the outstanding Orlando District Choir a hand for last night and many of them today uh, in our service and tonight for coming together. I believe that's about eight churches who came together to make our Orlando district. And we thank God for Minister Smith and for his musician team who meet together in order that when we come together, we can have good quality music that the Lord is pleased and blesses our music. And so we want to thank all of the soloists who have given up their time and talents, uh, Reverend Kendrick Shaw and uh, Reverend uh, oh, oh, Lacey, Reverend, I was going to say Reverend Lacey, amen, Gilchrist, I said, and uh, Brother Manker on last night, and uh, from this church, uh, where is she, uh, what's the name, Tierra, yes, all of the various solos who brought to us, and if there's any I'm missing, uh, you can put their names in my spirit, but certainly we say thank you, thank you, thank you, and so our choir is in the choir stand, and they've come to share and to celebrate with the preacher for the hour. Amen. Our homeboy. Yes, sir. This is a Polk Countyan. Amen. We're from the same county. Uh, he was in Arbondale, and I was in Winter Haven. So I've known him as I've grown up in the Polk County area. As you can see in his bio in the books, he was drafted in the sixth round by the Cleveland Browns of the National Football League. In other words, he's a professional retired football player. And so he just decided to change teams, that's all. He played hard for the Cleveland uh, Browns, and now he's on the battlefield for the Lord, standing in the gap. He doesn't mind preaching with passion and power. Sometimes you preach so hard, you think he's mad at you. But he ain't mad at you. He just wants you to get what God has for you. Amen. That anointing on him, come on somebody, it'll run the demons out the church. And that's what you got to do. You got to have a passion, not afraid of demons. Come on somebody. And so he's done a mighty work at St. Mark AME Church in Clearmount, Florida. They are good stewards, and the pastor is a good leader, and the members are good followers. They're here tonight. They're in the choir stand. They're out in the audience, and I'll allow him to have them to stand when he comes up. But we certainly give God all the glory for all that he is doing and all that he has done, and we ask that you will pray for him tonight and ask the Lord to give him the increase of the anointing in the Holy Ghost as he stands before us and preach the powerful word of God. He is a man of God, and he is well married. And I'll allow him to uh, say who he's well married to and have his own spouse uh, to stand tonight as I made that mistake last night and not allowing Reverend Bird to introduce his queenly wife, but he did put her in the message, remember? He made sure y'all knew who his wife was. So I'm going to move out of the way and ask you to stretch your hands toward the preacher and say preach. Preacher. Preach. And so the soloists will come and they will sing to us. The choir will sing and after uh, the choir finishes, the next voice you will hear will be that of Reverend Van Harrell Green. The capable pastor of St. Mark AME Church, Clearmont, Florida. All righty, come on, choir. Praise the Lord. Jesus.
So no matter what you're going through, remember God is losing you for the battle is not yours, it's the Lord. There's no sadness, Jesus can't feel, and there's no sorrow that he is not able and willing going through remember God is using you for the battle is not yours it's the Lord it's it's the Lord it's the Lord Don't you cry, it's the love, it's the love, it's the love. So no matter what you're going through, remember God. He's using you for the battle is not yours. It's the Lord. It's the Lord. It's the Lord. Well, you got to hold your head up high. Don't you cry, no, it's the love, it's the love, it's the love. Do you mind if I testify a little bit for you? Oh, he's been so good to me. He woke me up this morning, started me on a new day. It's the Lord, it's the Lord. Have you ever been sick in your body and you thought you weren't going to get well? But I can tell you the Lord will step right in on time. He's an on time God, yes he is. Hey, No matter. 
matter what you're going through He only wants a chance to use you For the battle is not yours It's the Lord Hallelujah Hallelujah Hey, hallelujah She said, the battle is not yours. It belongs to the Lord. <laughs> but how many of y'all are safe in the arms of Jesus? Are you safe in the arms of Jesus? Even when things don't look right, but you're still safe in the arms of Jesus. <laughs> it's all right. We're not here to, you know, for y'all to look at us. Just get into the service and worship with us. Praise his holy name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to his name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. the Lord is my shepherd I have absolutely everything I need he helps me to rest in the meadows grass and he leads me beside the quiet stream why I'm safe. That's why I'm safe. That's why I'm safe. Safe in his arms. Because
to slow down. I got to slow down. I got to slow down. Let me get let me get some let me get some thanks. Let me get some thanks. Oh. Thank Elder for presiding, Elder Walker, for this opportunity. I want to thank my sister, Sister Tina, and my choir, and all St. Mark's members that come out on a Monday night to be with their pastor. Thank you for my cousin, Bishop Larry Herbert, and my cousin, Phyllis Grant. I don't thank God for this. <laughs> and I'd like to thank my wife. Amen. Sister Sheila Green. Amen. And my grandson. That's my team. That's my team. That's my team. You got to have a team. You got to have a team. 
St. John 15. I am the true vine, one, and my father is a vine dresser. Every branch in me that bear fruit, he prunes that it may bear more fruit. You are already clean because of the word which I have spoken to you. Abide in me and I in you as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abide in the vine. Neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine. You are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bear much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, he is cast out as a branch. And it withers. And they gather them and throw them in the fire. Now they are burned. If you abide in me, my words abide in you. You will ask what you will or desire, and it should be done for you. By this, my Father is glorified that you bear much fruit, so you will be mine. John 15 and 5. Rest in me. Resting in Jesus. My sister began up saying, the battle is not yours, but it's the Lord. Sister Tina Honor came right behind her and said, I'm safe. I'm safe. You see, that's all you need. The battle's not yours, but it's the Lord, and you safe. <laughs> that's a combination. That take you wherever you want to go. And you know, I'm a person that think I can fix it all. I went to a small high school, a small university. But I worked hard. I worked hard. And I know what hard work do for you. You're still paying off. Still paying off. And I came, after, after leading ball, I came into the ministry and thought I had to do it for myself. Struggling. Where would this go? What where where about this and where about that? How does a natural branch attach to a vine? It is fed, nourished. And given everything needed for life. In that instant, 
I realized that I had been like a branch, straining to produce fruit by its own virtue and strength. No wonder I've been so frustrated. The Holy Spirit did, did not, not just give me power and wisdom for the task he wanted me to accomplish. Case by case, he was actually really residing in me. He living in me. He living in you. He living in you. He living in you, young people. I'm about to get fussed. I'm about to put that frown on my face. The other say, the other say, look. And living through me in every cell, in every moment, actively, actively generating the results he himself wanted. That truth changed my whole perspective on life and my entire relationship with God. I wept over, I was overwhelmed with joy that I no longer had to live the Christian life or do ministry in my own strength. All I had to do was simply rest in Jesus. And allow him to do all the work through me. It was a life changing moment, which I never forgot. I finally understood what Paul meant in Galatians 2.20. I have been crucified with Christ, and it is no longer. I who lives, but it's Christ. And let me tell you what Christ means. The anointed one and his anointing. Huh? Anointed means Christ in man doing what man cannot do. That's the power. Who don't want that anointing tonight? Who want the anointing tonight? Who want the anointing? Who want the anointing tonight? Can't do nothing without the anointing. He's here. He's here. He's here. He's here. Before I got him to preach, look at look at how he bust the loose. He bust the loops in here. For a word was spoken. No longer I that lives, but Christ that lives in me. His life, his ministry, his fruit. Same go for you. Pastor Crossy had a good lesson today. Talking about the Holy Spirit. Ain't we tired of coming here? Coming here and coming here and ain't no power. Ain't nobody getting healed. Everybody broke. First of all, ain't nobody got the anointing. I 
I'm tired of it. People die because they don't know what to do. They eat the wrong food. Some of my, some of my, some of my friends, they, they get on me because of how I eat. But that's all right. Huh? That's all right. I want to I wanna be around and fit. I, I want to be able to move. I want to be able to move. You know, I just, I just, I just, I just, I just changed partners from, from, from the world to God. In the same way I acted out there in the world. I'm going to act like that for Jesus. I'm in the school system. Trump talking about guns in this in the school. Come on, man. Are you crazy? I stand at dismissal at 3 o'clock on my post. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. Come on, y'all. I have decided. Come on. To follow Jesus. Come on, y'all. Come on. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. Come on. No turning back. No turning back. Yes, 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 yes. 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 No, no turning back. I'm, I'm not in this. I'm not in this to play. I'm in this for life. I'm in this for life. I'm not, not here for playing. Huh? I'm for real. I'm for real. Come on, no turning back. 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 What we, got to, what we got to do, you see a scripture in the Bible and apply it to yourself. Joshua said, uh, Joshua was spoken to Joshua, meditate day and night. So what you need you got, if you, if you want that money, I know everybody wants the money. Don't want people want the money. Yeah. I want some money. Yeah. If you want the anointing, yeah. anointing first. Because you got anointing, you got everything else. Yeah. Healing in your body. Yeah. Speak to the body. Put it on a subjection. Yeah. Body, yeah. you heal. Yeah. You've been here for over. 2,000 years. Why are you acting up now? Speak to it. He bore my sickness, carried my diseases, and by his stripes, I'm here. No weapon formed against me will prosper. Every tongue rise against me, judgment shall be condemned. This is the heritage of the servant of the Lord. And that's my heritage because I'm your servant. Beloved, I wish above all things that you prosper, be in health, even as your soul prosper. Is there any sick among you? 
Any sick among you? Let a call for the elders of the church. Let them pray the prayer of faith. Let them anoint him of all. And the prayer of faith should save the sick. And the Lord shall raise it up. See, that might, be a, that might be a scripture for somebody tonight. And I live in the flesh. I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me. I preach that truth to myself during the next several weeks. Itching into my soul. It's no longer I that live. But it's the anointing and his anointing that lives in me. His life, his ministry, his fruit. You did not create me to worry. You did not create me to fear. But you created me to worship daily so I'm leaving all right here. Amen. Amen. Receive it all over the church. Receive it all over the church. Receive your blessings. Receive your blessings. Never come in the house of God not expecting something. Receive it. Did not create me to worry. Sing it, sing it. You did not create me to fear. Christian's discipleship. To worship daily, so I'm a leave it all right here. Would there be one? My hands are raised. Ah, would there be one? Lord, your best is good for me. Oh, I worship you. Yes, yes. Come on, come on. Lord, your will is what's best for me. With that prayer? Anybody need prayer? Anybody oh, need prayer? Oh, I worship you. Yes. Because you're yes, Jehovah yes. Jireh. Yes. Now bow before the King of Kings. No more crying. 
to them the Lord has said those who yield into him he's going to take them higher in the things of God so let them get everything that God has for them tonight whatever you're doing in this season the choir is telling Lord you gotta tell him don't do it without me I want your life to change and open up your spirit to the Holy Spirit he is in this place tonight. His presence, his power, his passion, his peace. Somebody's getting healed right now. You don't even know it. And when you go back to the doctor, the doctor got going to be able to find what they thought they told you they saw. And we stand in the gap right now. Everybody waiting on a report from the doctor. If you believe God tonight and touch and agree tonight, God is healed right now in the name of Jesus. And if it's your healing, I bet you better reach up and get your healing right now. You have not because you ask not. He's turning it around right now. Every situation in your life, he's turning it around for you. Thank you, Pastor Green. Thank you, Pastor Green. Thank you. Come on, put your hands together for God. Put your hand together for Pastor Green. Just let God go ahead on and minister. I know when the presence of the Lord is in the house. Lord, whatever you're doing in this season, don't do it without me. The Lord said higher tonight. That's the word he's put in my spirit. We're going higher to no another level in all of our churches. Or higher in your finances. Higher in your spiritual level. Your children are going to go higher. Everything you touch, if you believe it's from God. God's going to bless you.
The preacher said you have not. As long as you connect it, you can ask what you will. So whatever you want tonight, I'm telling you why you're under this anointing. You need to ask him. But whatever it is you need, ask him. Part your lips of clay and ask him. For whatever it is you need tonight, in the name of Jesus, God, I bless your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for the power and the demonstration of the Holy Spirit. put those hands together. Come on, bless the Lord tonight. Come on, bless the Lord tonight. Come on, bless the Lord tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, give the Lord a praise offering for this radical preacher tonight who allowed the Lord to use him. Amen. That's what you got to do. You got to step outside the box and allow the Lord to use the gifts that he's placed in you. Ain't nobody you but you. Nobody can't do it like you but you. Don't you be worried about nobody what they're going to say about you. Whatever God has put in for you is for you to give to his people. Hallelujah tonight. Hallelujah tonight. I bless God tonight. Tears ran down my face the whole time this preacher was preaching. Hallelujah. That's when you know the Lord is ministering to your spirit and cleansing your very soul. Hallelujah bringing you back to that place where you feel close to him, where you know the Lord has wrapped his loving arms around you and the Lord loves you, the Christ in you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on. Hallelujah. I know we want to tabernacle here all night long, but we're going to call it a time for the Lord to just minister us. Let me do this under this anointing. Let me light this candle. For Bishop John Hurst Adams, would you come and light this candle? Keep playing. Many of you were not able to make it to Bishop John Hurst Adams' funeral, but we do want to thank God for him and the work that he did in the 11th Episcopal District. And so we have given him a tribute on the back of our district program. And a tribute to Bishop John Hurst Adams. I'm not going to read it because you can read. But he's a bishop among all bishops. A pioneer, a trendsetter, a churchman, a pastor in the 87th 
elected and consecrated bishop of the African Methodist Episcopal Church, who gave stellar leadership to the 11th Episcopal District, a faithful man of God who knew God, loved God, and shared God's wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And printed for you are all the words, the treasured words that used to describe Bishop Adams by his devoted family, colleagues, and friends at his homegoing service. Bishop John Hurst Adams, one of a kind, a great man, a legend with a loyal legacy to lead with each of us as we strive to receive the tree of life and keep the faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us have a moment of silence in his memory. The work he did for this church will be in our hearts forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Y'all get two baskets and we're going to give under that anointed display. Whatever you have to give, I want you to bring it tonight. Bring it tonight. Put two baskets up there. And whatever you have to give tonight. Thank you, God. Thank you, Father. If you have to give tonight, y'all play some music. Christ going to sing for us while we come around. Isn't God good? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. All right, we got some ushers going to direct the people. Come on, ushers. Tell us how to do it, all right?
Amen. I don't know about you, but I'm happy to tell your neighbor. If you're happy, tell the neighbor I'm happy tonight. Amen. My soul has been filled and refreshed. Uh, this turned into a district revival tonight. Amen. Y'all give our revivalists a hand tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. We are, we're on schedule tonight. Give us a few more minutes and we'll be ready to go. As I peruse the audience, I believe I see my Episcopal president of women in ministry in the house. Amen. I'm going to ask her to come up and say a good evening to us in her own way. That's Reverend Betty Watson. Amen. The most capable pastor of St. Paul AME Church in Leesburg, Florida. Is that right? Did I got it right? All right. All right. This is my president. Give a hand tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, let the redeem of the Lord say hallelujah. Come on, let the redeem of the Lord say hallelujah. Uh, it's good to be in the house of the Lord on a Monday night. Amen. Amen. God is an awesome God, and he is so worthy to be praised to him. Your, your efficient and capable elder. Thank you so very much. Come on, y'all. Give our shout out. <laughs> come on, come on. I, I, I am most proud when we have to go down the list of, of what position women hold within the 11th, and I am proud to say that we have an, a presiding elder in the Central Florida Conference. God is an awesome God, and he is worthy to be praised. It is good to see you. Orlando District. God is an awesome God. I just had to come by tonight to see what the Lord was doing and on this side. Amen. I was with Reverend Porter on last week in his revival. But uh, you know when, when church is in you. Not, not when you just go to church, but when church is in you. When church is in you. You always find the time to go here and be fed some more. So I thank God for just being here. We're looking forward to mid-year. For all of you who are in women in ministry, amen. I invite you to come and be a part of us. Uh, there's power in numbers. Let me say that one more time. There's power in numbers. And at this junction of the year, the women in ministry holds 49% of the of the ordained clergy in the, in the central. Amen. God is an awesome God. He's doing wonderful things through the women of the church. And Elder, if I can, so the women can put it on their mind, let me put a plug in for our retreat that is going to be held in August, the third weekend in August at Thursday and Friday, and we leave on Saturday at noon. And it's not just for women in ministry. It's for all women. For those of you who attended last year, we had a powerful time, uh, radical self-care. The reason we fail our churches is that we don't take care of ourselves. And we hurt people, hurt people. Wounded people, wound people. But when you take care of yourself, you're able to take care of everybody else. So you have more information about that. We're looking forward to a wonderful time this year as well. But I'll see you at mid-year, but I just want to tell you, to God be the glory. And let me just tell you, if it had not been for the Lord on my side, I'd have checked out of here a long time ago. My soul does cry out, uh, hallelujah. And I thank God for just saving me, because this time last year, I couldn't even walk. Praise his holy name. I was down from February the 10th to the first Sunday in August. Uh, but thanks be unto God, I can walk, I can shout, I can run, I can do whatever I want to do. But God is a healer and God is a deliverer. Thank you, God. But when God put me down, he spoke to me. And I got a little wisdom being 69 now. Our resolution committee is ready. Come, please. Thank you so much. Praise the Lord. Amen. Church. 
11th Episcopal District, Central Annual Conference, the Outstanding Orlando District District Conference, February 25th through 26th, 2018, Resolution. The Orlando District Conference of the Central Annual Conference of the 11th Episcopal District of the African Methodist Episcopal Church convened at Mount Olive AME Church, 2525 West Church Street, Orlando, Florida, on February 25th through 26th, 2018. The central theme to guide the work of the conference was intentional about ministry. Generation to generation, healthy systems, healthy church, healthy balance, evangelism, engage, and encouragement. Whereas the opening worship experience convened Sunday, February 25th, 2018, at 4 o'clock p.m. at Mount Olive AME Church, the district was blessed with the keynote speaker of the evening, the presiding elder, Dr. James Leander Bird of the North Orlando District Conference. Presiding Elder Bird blessed our souls with an inspiring, inspirational sermon entitled, Is There Anything Too Hard for God? From Genesis chapter 8, verses 1 through 15. Presiding Elder Bird expressed how we should ask God for what we need because he has the power to create to liberate and to heal. God's power is unlimited. Presiding Elder Walker recognized and celebrated our seniors, 85 years and older, with a standing ovation. The worship experience culminated with communion of all 24 churches on the Orlando District. Whereas the Orlando District Conference convened Monday at 9.05 a.m., February 26, 2018, at Mount Olive AME Church, 2525 West Church Street, Orlando, Florida. The presiding elder, the Reverend Valerie J. Walker, opened and greeted the conference to fully organize the conference to carry out the work of the district. Presiding elder Walker proceeded with roll call and spoke to the conference on God's pastors as administrators. She spoke on how the pastor as an administrator should be able to manage all that God has entrusted to his or her care. Presiding Elder Walker touched on four points, ability, availability, accountability, and agility. Whereas the conference presented several enlightening workshops with relevant information, the following information was presented. Evangelism and church growth, the Holy Spirit and his pastors, finances along with statistical data analysis of our churches. The workshops presenters were the Reverend Dr. Mark Crutcher, the Reverend Dr. David Ferguson, and the Reverend Lafiesta Cox Brown. Whereas the conference presented information on the safety and security of our churches, the presenters were the Reverend Ruth Dill, the Reverend Octavius Smith, the Reverend Isaac Williams, and Sister Denise Andrews. Whereas Presiding Elder Walker discussed the proposed conference district adjustments with the pastors and the congregation, a vote was taken and the people unanimously voted against the proposed district adjustment. Motion was made by the Reverend Octavius Smith and seconded by the Reverend Ruth Dill, the Reverend Terrell Blair, and the Reverend Cheryl Moore. Whereas the empowerment worship experience noonday service was a mighty blessing to the people of God. The keynote speaker was the Reverend Rhonda McIntyre of Grant Chapel AME Church, Oviedo, Florida. Reverend McIntyre blessed us with a powerful and encouraging word from 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 12 through 16, entitled, The Reason for My Hope. Whereas the District Board of Examiners presented their report, the board presented the following. Brother Robbie Anderson of Ward Chapel, AME Church, Winter Park, Florida. Sister Rebecca Thompson of New Bethel, AME Church, Geneva, Florida. Reverend Kendrick Shaw of Grant Chapel, Oviedo, Florida. Recommended, recommendations were made that the names be referred to the Central Annual Conference Board of Examiners. Whereas the closing worship experience opened Monday, February 27, 2017, 18, 6.33 p.m. at Mount Olive AME Church, the Reverend Van Green of St. Mark AME Church, Claremont, Florida, preached a captivating and compelling sermon from John chapter 15, verses 1 through 18, entitled, Resting in Jesus. Whereas presiding elder Valerie J. Walker recognized our visitors, 
Presiding Elder James Oscar Williams of the Tampa District, Mrs. Sybil Keyes, our district consultant, Reverend Dr. Missouri McPhee, Reverend Jeffrey Dove, Catherine Keyes, Vita Kennan, Sister Kay Walker, and the Reverend Betty Watson, the Episcopal President of the WIM. They are resolved that high praises be given to Allen Chapel AME Church Dance Ministry and the District Choir, who bless our souls through the gift of music and dance. Be it also resolved that commendations be given to the culinary ministry of Mount Olive AME Church Orlando, Florida, for the exceptional, excellent manner in which they demonstrated hospitality and warmth through the giving of their time, talents, and services. Be it further resolved that the members and friends of the Orlando District of the Central Annual Conference of the 11th Episcopal District of the African Methodist Episcopal Church stand to render superior commendations to the Reverend Dr. Mark Crutcher and his loving wife, the Reverend Juanita Crutcher, the officers and men members of Mount Olive AME Church for the superb and outstanding manner in which they have demonstrated hospitality, friendliness, leadership, and the grace through service. Be it finally resolved that the highest acclamations be bestowed upon our presiding elder, the Reverend Valerie J. Walker, for her godly supervision, industrious administration, her integrity, her love, faith, wisdom, spiritual insight, and knowledge as she leads this outstanding Orlando district. Be it finally resolved to God be the glory for the great and phenomenal work that God has done here at the seat of the outstanding Orlando District. Humbly submitted, Minister Carmela Blair and the Reverend Lamarta F. Brooks. What shall we do with this outstanding, wonderfully written resolution? It has been properly moved and second that we receive this wonderful resolution that has been written for us. Uh, ready for the question? Are there any unreadiness? I like this too. Yes, and we would include that as well as what we did for the persons in uh, Broward County, and we read from Bishop's uh, release that he gave down there. We could include that in there. Yes, that's fine. All right, yes. She probably 75 instead of 85 and older, 75 and older. And then also, if you would attach to, you had one. Okay, Reverend David Ferguson doesn't have a doctorate yet. Reverend Dr. David Ferguson, amen. All right, and also uh, we'll need to add the word retired. Um, Reverend Jamie and the bird retired, presiding other member of the North Atlanta district. The way it reads, he's taking out the post their place. And so we better phrase it right in our resolution, presiding other retired member of the North Orlando District. Amen. All righty. Any other unreadiness? One through eight. All right. All right, with all those uh, corrections, uh, ready for the question? All in favor, let it be known by saying aye. aye. Any opposed to the same sign? All right, let's give her them a thunderous applause for the great, 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 great work that both of you have done. Thank you, Reverend Lamada Brooks. We bless God for her and for her work in our resolution. Uh, will the members of Mount Olive AME Church and Pastor Crutcher, I don't see Pastor Crutcher, if the uh, pro, a steward is here, 
Uh, would you please uh, come and receive your uh, hosting solicitation and let us give a thunderous applause to all the members of Mount Olive AME Church. If you're here, just come down front. Anybody that's left, we ask you to come down front and receive. that you all allow us to come every year uh, because we are just so humble that on our opening night, that's why we have to come because of opening night, there's no other church on our district that can hold our opening night, which we come out in grand style. So I want to thank all of the members from the Orlando district for allowing us to be able to have such a great um, district conference. So y'all stuck with us every year. Amen. Now, anybody can help them host. Uh, we can use the facility like we did uh, the Church for Church School Convention. So you all can help them host. Uh, you can say we're going to host a district conference. It'll be here, and that means your people will be cooking, and it'll give them a break. So if any church want to do that, I think Pastor Crutcher and his fine members of Mount Olive would be happy if you decide you want to do that. Amen. standing up there. Thank you so much for just being who you are. Now, I think I've seen everybody I need to see. You know, uh, that's what suscitation does. It takes care of the district conference. I have a few envelopes up here, but let me, um, our minister spouses allows us, our new president, Sister Brenda Porter. And Sister Porter, we always pay our money. Come on up here so they can see you. Uh, we always pay our budget for our minister spouses at this district conference. $1,100. We put it in our hands tonight, and we bless God for her. Amen. Good evening. <laughs> it is indeed a privilege and an honor to work with this elder, our elder, with the minister's spouses. Um, we just recently had our uh, conference call. Unfortunately, I didn't um, be able to attend the conference call because I was in revival last week. But I will let you know about some upcoming events. We are planning a um, get-together to go bowling. And we will be having our worship service, conference worship service in May. And all of that information will be coming forth. And if you don't, if I don't have your information, please let me get your information so that I can send you emails and contact you to make sure you are aware of all of our activities. Thank you. All righty. Thank you so much. I have two envelopes left. And we thank our minister spouses. I, 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 I loved bowling. Um, when I had, uh, had rheumatoid arthritis, I had a pin put in this arm. Um, and it has scared me from bowling, but I used to be pretty good. And I tried to bowl at our family reunion and I injured it. So I decided that part of my life might be over. But whenever y'all go, let me know so I can cheer y'all on. All right, I'll cheer y'all on. I always uh, bless our Episcopal leaders when they come to visit. So if someone would present this Sister Betty Watson for me, please. And our wonderful resolution secretary, if you would give that now. Who have I not seen that I should have seen, that you know I should have touched you? Uh, presenters, preachers, uh, if you did your 30-minute uh, presentation, uh, all of our preachers got their little um, um, stipend to go to McDonald's tonight if they wanted to. Is there anybody, Mr. Stewart's got their dinner tonight, is there anybody, musicians, got your stipend? Is there anybody we did not see? you felt like I need to see you, then you come up here and tell me why I need to see you, and I'll make sure I see you, all right? <laughs> Again, to this wonderful choir, the soloists, as uh, Pastor said, his sister, Sister Jana. Stand up, God bless you, amen. And Sister Katina from St. Mark, amen. We celebrate all of the music. Well, we are just on schedule, and we are are ready to lead tonight. Uh, members of this outstanding Orlando district, I love you all. I really, 
really love you. I really, really appreciate you coming back tonight. I thank God for all the word that we have had imparted in our spirits. I thank you how we are a team, Orlando, and we share and work together, and we make sure we cover everyone, and we do our very best to have increase, abundance, and overflow, and just let God use you and minister to you, and don't be afraid of the Holy Spirit. God is real, and he wants to bless you in abundance. And so you got to clean out your spirits. You, you got to want to get right. You, you got to want to stop all the child play and foolishness that goes on sometimes in your homes and in our churches and let God all the way in. When he said the Christ in me, oh my God, it just did something to my spirit. It makes me get closer and closer to God. And I want to say to Kathy Ferguson tonight as the Lord was ministering to you down there, uh, it's okay to do what God is calling you to do. Uh, you're not going to be able to shout it out. You're not going to be able to sing it out. But you seek him tonight under this anointing. You seek him tonight and ask him, God, what is it that you need me to do for you? And you open up your spirit and you open up to him and you tell him that I'm willing and I'm ready. There's a book inside of you. There's a book inside of you that young ladies need to read uh, you are an elegant, stately young lady. You love the Lord. You're very humble. You're very meek. You're very mild. But you've got a lot of giftings that the Lord wants to burst out of you. And so you ask him tonight, what is it that you want me to do? And the Lord's going to show you 100%. And you write it down. And you move forward. Don't stop. Keep going forward. Keep going forward. Keep going forward. The, Lord, the Lord's word for us tonight was higher. And I want you to know that you're going to go higher in the things of the Lord, and you've got to leave here believing that. All right, well, if we haven't um, forgotten anything, it has been a wonderful evening and a half with you on yesterday afternoon throughout the evening and a wonderful day with my district today. I learned last year to take tomorrow off, so I don't have a quarter tomorrow night, but Dade City, I will see you on Wednesday night back to work. Amen. Thank you so much. Our hearts are, are satisfied. Thank you, musicians, again, for being here all doing the service. And to each of you in your respective places. Bishop, I just want to hear your voice. If you could just, yeah, yeah, just come on. Just say something. Just, yeah, yeah, just say something. Uh, whatever the Lord put on your spirit. Anytime a new or fresh anointing is in the house, we just want you to say something, to hear that voice. Amen. Just say something, and then we'll be ready to go. Amen. Watch the anointing of the Holy Spirit on my cup. I'm honored to be in this place to see God be. And I thank God because him and I was talking about rest. Great message. We are taught to rest in Christ. He made some great points. The Spirit said, if God abide in you, you abide in him. Just let God do what he has to do. Quit struggling. Quit trying to fight God. Just rest in him. Word. All right, all hearts, and we are ready to go. Praise God from whom all blessing flow, and our preacher will give us our benediction. Again, safe travels home, and much love to you. And um, Reverend Williams said we cousins, so I have to get our line down there. That's my cousin from now on, cuz. Thank you again, cousin. Amen. Praise God. Come on, Pastor. been on both sides. I played football on Monday night. 
but I like this side. To be on God's side. No more playing. All about worship. Now unto him that is able to keep us from falling, present us faultless in the presence of his glory. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory, dominion, power, 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 now and forever. And the church said,